Hi, I'm Dr. Tejas Manchandia. I'm a radiologist at Keck Medicine at USC, specializing in breast imaging. Today, we are going to have a candid conversation about digital breast tomosynthesis, also known as three-dimensional or 3D mammography. Right now, 2D digital mammography is the standard of care for breast cancer screening. However, there's controversy with 2D mammography because of its limitations in finding cancers in women with dense breasts. Also, with 2D, there are a lot of false positives or abnormal findings on the mammogram, which do not turn out to be cancer and are actually overlapping normal breast tissue. In 2011, a brand new mammography technique called 3D mammography, or digital breast tomosynthesis, was approved by the FDA. I'm proud to say that USC was one of the first sites to get this machine at the breast center. Unlike the regular 2D mammogram, where two pictures of each breast are taken from top to bottom and side to side, with 3D mammography, there are multiple images taken with the X-ray beam moving in an arch across the breast. The radiologist can then scroll through these multiple images like a video clip to see if a small cancer is hiding in the breast tissue. For the patient, getting a 3D mammogram is nearly the same experience as getting a 2D mammogram. And with the latest 3D technique, there is essentially the same radiation dose as with 2D. Many studies have shown that with 3D mammography, more cancers are found and fewer patients are called back for additional workup from their screening mammogram. We're fortunate that at USC, all of our mammography units are 3D digital breast tomosynthesis capable units. It is the new, better mammogram and is rapidly becoming the standard of care for breast cancer screening. Thank you for joining me in this candid conversation about digital breast tomosynthesis. Please remember that early detection saves lives. Be sure to get your mammogram on time.